Hi, I'm Dale, and I'm in the nursery of the bird section of the Houston Zoo. Today, we're going to talk to Molly, a senior keeper in birds, about her animals. And what are we going to look at today, Molly? Well, I am getting a chicken ready to foster incubate some eggs. Okay, Molly. Well, what's the significance of the chicken on the eggs? What uh, are these not her eggs? Um, we have our domestic chickens foster incubate eggs for us for other species like the Atwater's Prairie Chicken. And what is uh, the significance of the Atwater's Prairie Chicken? The Atwater's Prairie Chicken is a native species from the Texas Gulf Coast. It uh, used to number in the millions, but now they're down to only about 100 in the wild, so they're an endangered species. That means that you, your staff, and the chickens uh, incubating the eggs are helping to save from extinction the Atwater's Prairie Chickens. Can you tell me how you go through that process? Sure, we have a captive flock at the Johnson Space Center. We have some land out there. We collect the eggs from them and we bring them back to the zoo. We candle them and that means we shine a light through them, make sure that it looks like a healthy egg, and then we incubate them. Uh, we either do foster incubation or artificial we try to do foster incubation with the domestic chickens because it's more natural for the eggs. Um, once those eggs hatch, we raise the chicks. We make a careful diet for them, make sure that they're getting all the nutrients that they need like they would in the wild. And when they're big enough, we take them for a release at the Atwater's Prairie Chicken National Wildlife Refuge in Eagle Lake, Texas. Do you do anything special in order to kind of keep track of the chickens once they're released? Yep, um, all the birds get a different color band and they also get a metal band. So they get a metal and a plastic and they also get radio collars to keep track of them. Do they get any extra medication? Because they're not going to have a vet out there to take care of them like they have here at the zoo. What, what right. happens there? Right, um, we just make sure they're healthy before they go out. We make sure they're at a good size. We want to make sure that they're a big enough bird that they can survive on their own and eat on their own. And we do a soft release when we get to the refuge. So that means that they get put into a large pen on the prairie so they can get used to the sights and sounds of the prairie. And after about two weeks, they get put out into the wild. Molly, I want to thank you very much for your time and the information you provided about this important Texas native species. Well, thanks for coming and hearing about the Outwater's Prairie Chicken today. Well, it's been my pleasure and I've learned a lot. Thank you. Now, I'm going to go see what else I can find here at the Houston Zoo. <laughs>